check the mic and make sure it sound right boy there is a option to come to hokkaido and japan to experience few weeks uh, or few days up to 90 days they get visa there is a scheme called summer institute and uh, this institute has options for students and non students who are recently graduated or even for who are employed so there is some interesting information we are bringing in this video summer institute like uh, many times we think like it's uh, covid there are many difficulties and travel issues but this time the border restrictions slowly coming down people are going like uh, they are able to come to japan that restrictions are easing and this fellowship or this scheme what we are talking the summer courses it is there for uh, may to october so there is time and the application period from this week to next week the first phase and second phase will be in the next month that is also there so by the time the selection list will come there is a high chance that you can come like this is uh, available for many people uh, like not just for current students and even the graduates and even the employees if they can uh, utilize this opportunity it is there both online completely and even offline offline you can this courses usually go for one weeks to two weeks till you will get visa for 90 days so people utilize to come here and even uh, go traveling across japan and then get the things uh, like uh, traveling experience and the course completion the credit uh, charges are nominal it will be shown in the in this video if you see further so i think that's a quick one i wanted to bring and uh, let's continue with the contents now let's see what is the uh, the the guidelines given what we have to do what is available so let's see some more details by the end of this video you will understand most of the details and the price and the duration and the application dates yes let's start let's get into details of hokkaido summer institute more details so this is the link in the google search hsi summer institute hokkaido hokkaido university so you can see here there are two languages you can take uh, this one english one and then you can go for uh, the particular details whatever you are looking for so you can explore all the details but i'll be focusing the uh, crucial part as a applicant or as a aspirant so let me highlight like uh, students and non students and uh, even uh, the current students and intermediate students i said right so let's see so this is a course as you can see we'll come back to this one again before uh maybe you can see the courses first then we go for the application so there are various courses you can see the courses on campus and es hsi is completely online and it is face to face and it can be online also there is uh, details will be seeing soon uh, you can see here so this one this is schemes and you can see you can click this one it will go to the completely online course or you can even select this particular themes on the left side you can find out uh, particular themes related and you no need to filter out all thing so you can see this for working adults international archaeology field school region reborn iceland it's an northern iceland for okkad university two credit course likewise so this is course list you can see uh, this much complete details here this is the green one and uh, the blue light blue one you can see this uh, two colors this is uh, the difference you can explore so this is the application guidelines for current students uh, you can see like this is for the for undergrads and uh, let me put the color for undergrads and graduate students Hokkaido students are excluded, so the Hokkaido students uh, students procedures will be different. I think they will be taking care, so I'm not going to highlight. So we'll have the internal access for uh, this for current students, and we have internal access through student portal, so we'll get to know for uh, our local students here. So this is for current students elsewhere, any country or any university. This is about you, the procedures. Let's go further. you can see this uh, covid protocols are there this is nominal and then application eligibility here 
Applicants must be enrolled in a university or a graduate school as a degree program student at the time of application and during the HSI period. That means the eligibility should be bona fide student at a particular university or the institute. That is the priority they are saying. And the applications who are high school graduates or working adults, please refer to that. There is another document for non-students. That is the working adults or even non-school. I mean that recently gradu- recently graduated or somewhere working. So that category will be seeing that one also sooner. Then uh, let's go further. There is. Online application process. Before starting, read the application guidelines, browse the course information, prepare your application document. So we have seen courses. There are many types of courses. So you can choose types of courses, and you can choose the course numbers, everything, and uh, you can then come for this application document preparation also before the application process starts. And during the online application period, go to the application admission, create your account, that portal, and log into your account page, and then uh, uh, follow the instructions in the application page. Upload all the required documents. So that is uh, procedures. So we'll see what are the documents required. So these are the documents required, and uh, course format changes. There is some details, and the first is application form. And it will have some questionnaire you need to fill, as you can see here in the photo. And official tran- uh, cu- uh, current student status, uh, the certificate of current student status that is a bona fide certificate, and you can university enrollment at the time of HSA participation. Even if the applicants are enrolled in the university at the time of application, those who are not regular students when HSA, it's like if you are graduating sooner, you are not eligible. So that is what they are meaning. You have to pay the non-student uh, fees and procedures. So uh, uh, official, official transcript, uh, official transcript, and uh, official medium of uh, official English proficiency test. That is a uh, Duolingo test is also there. This is another uh, you can give throughout year. This is uh, any day you can give at home. It's online. This is there, but before that, there is other option for the current students. That if your university, most of the time it will be in English program, many countries. So if your university is giving your course in English, you can get the medium of instruction certificate. And also there is this statement called uh, applicants who have gra- received or receiving university graduate education in English are exempted from the submitting the above score sheet by submitting the official document showing that the application has received. Applicant has received university graduate school education in English issued by the university. This one, and also there is uh, if the application academic transcript or graduate certificate states that the university graduate school has conducted in English, the student can may use the MI certificate. So this also you can use as medium of instruction certificate if your certificate states that or transcript of the certificate. So that is another option. And the copy of transport and the copy of student ID card with photo that is the nominal documents and these are also there. So this is the fee details. So for program fee for current students only the credit fee has to be paid. No application fee, no entrance fee. But for the non-students which will be seeing soon, as I have seen already, there is this charges will be included along with this one. So for students. Only this much you need to pay. That is in Indian currency. If you convert, it will be seen some different number. Likewise, convert to your own currency and see. It is not so. Uh, it is it is nominal charges. I could say, but maybe uh, this one and uh, the application fee exemption for tuition fee is uh, the exchange students who are having agreement that partner in universities. They have given the list in the website which you can refer to that. So the, for them, it's no fees on the case by case basis. But the, uh, here we are coming. The application period, you can see. This is the application period, uh, seven to sixteen. That is today's uh, seven to eight, eight March. So another this week is a deadline for first phase, first application, and there is a second application that is in June to one to seven. <coughs> Sorry, the on-campus course and uh, online course. So the courses will be. Around August, September. This will be around June, July. So 
so you can see these two options are there application submission opens at 12 and it closes at 5 pm last day of the application so you can note down this timing also if you are planning to keep the till last minute to submit the forms steps after submission and another thing accommodation due to covid they are not giving any sort of accommodation you have to make your own arrangements <coughs> you have to make your own arrangements and uh, it's like uh, you have to it's a short period every course runs either one week or two weeks so mostly people can afford some apartments or some known friends or the, they can stay with them usually one two weeks stay they hotels are the houses they don't charge separately so they can utilize that option and uh, usually they give this accommodation but now it is not there due to covid steps after submission you can see the results of the first application will come around april so you will have the courses uh, uh, around june july as per my understanding you can see in the later in the full documents june july so may will be the time for paying the fee uh, uh i think we'll be seeing i think it will be there application deadline is march 16 june 7 so see around april around may so let's see students saw so start of the uh, their studies june yeah june july you can start any time so this is a uh, month that's available like uh, across this four five months or uh, five months over the five months period it is there so dormitory tuition fee you have to pay in this before this particular period uh, like if you are willing to start the course at this period this is the dates this will be there in my page if you register in the website and visa documents also will be given on request and uh, this is the details so visa a ticket insurance insurance many times like uh, this is possible to get from third party like in india if you see like uh, we remember during our travel there was this uh, uh, bajaj alliance is there and uh, atata Tata insurance is also there another one i think two three uh, there are a couple of things more you can utilize this or uh, they give insurance for international travel up to uh, 60 days or even more the duration based on the duration but most of the courses are one to two weeks so it is you can plan some travel as i said so you can plan some travel another week or so so maybe 20 to 30 days so it's up to you, you can utilize that is a good option and uh, accommodations no accommodations they have striked up points to be noted so this is undergrad level students undergrad courses master students PhD students they can take this level uh, which level courses but high school students also can be taken uh, the undergrad courses the internet other uh, people who completed senior high and, uh, higher secondary school that is a pre-university in India so this is the contact details you can approach them we'll give more details and you can even write to us if you have any confusion so that is about uh, current students application documents let's look into So let's look, in, look into application documents for non-students this is uh, non-students application guidelines for the summer institute okada university as you can see here the application eligibility for non-students they have the, for undergrad course this is the, basically they have to be having that academic equivalent certificate they can provide and the english proficiency test or the medium of instruction which will be applicable here also you can use the university certificate may not accept applications from those who didn't meet the requirements above but have excellent academic research and ambition to pursue their subject at higher level for details please contact c if you have doesn't meet this uh, criteria also still if you want to have this uh, experience of learning they are giving you special consideration writing by writing to this uh, managing section if you are so ambitious it will help your academic uh, uh, prospects your career prospects so they are going to consider so this online application period during the application this is similar for both of the, um, the students of and non-students so application form photo official graduation certificate still need to be submitted and official english proficiency or dueling or test or medium of instruction certificate copy of passport program fee you can see here this is what i was talking they have to pay this fees at the time of application a month prior to the course date so application they have to pay and entrance fee they have to pay before starting the course and tuition fee has to be paid so 
this is for one credit they have to pay 52,8000 and for three credits they have to pay 82. It's an example so it will come around in this price range. So this is the details and accommodation and this application period is similar. First application will be in this week and the all courses will be given and second application will be there in June, June 7 to 7 but uh, the courses will be only be taken uh, can take only these courses will be offered in that period that is august september so that is and the results you can see screening results around april this is around may this is you can understand this is the tuition and the payment period when to pay and uh, these are the documents mandatory these are the information additional information so yeah that's it these are the contact you can approach i think both are same contact they are same office they are dealing with so that's uh, quick uh, information about the documentation so as we have seen now the entire the procedure like the application process deadlines on the screen you can see and uh, you have seen like the fees for the students and the non-students. The students, as you can see, there is a benefit. They don't need to pay the enrollment fee and they don't need to pay the station the 9,000 and uh, the 14,000, I think, 20,000 20, 20, one. So the tuition, the difference is there. But non-students who are employed, who are uh, graduated, they can also afford completely online or physical. So that's all. Stay tuned, we'll get some more details in the upcoming days. We have more videos, information and videos to come up soon. Thank you. It sound right, boy.